once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled amidst the rolling hills. There lived a wise Zen master renowned for his profound teachings on inner peace and emotional control. People from far and wide sought his guidance, hoping to gain clarity and serenity in their turbulent lives. One day, a young boy approached the Zen master with a troubled heart. He was consumed by anger and frustration, unable to tame the tempestuous emotions raging within him. With tear-filled eyes, he pleaded, Master, I am lost in a whirlwind of emotions. How can I find peace within myself? The Zen master gazed at the boy with compassion and nodded sagely. Come, sit beside me, he said, patting the ground gently. I will share with you a tale that may illuminate the path to tranquility. And so, the Zen master began his story. In a distant land, there lived a powerful king who possessed everything wealth could buy. Yet, despite his riches, he was tormented by bouts of uncontrollable anger. His temper was like a raging inferno, scorching everything in its path. One day, the king's temper flared up over a trivial matter, and he ordered his soldiers to bring him the wisest person in the kingdom who could teach him how to control his emotions. The soldiers scoured the land and eventually brought forth a humble sage, renowned for his wisdom and equanimity. The sage, unfazed by the king's intimidating presence, approached him with a serene smile. Your majesty, the sage began, emotions are like wild horses. If left unchecked, they can trample everything in their wake. But with patience and practice, you can learn to harness their power. The king, intrigued by the sage's words, implored him to reveal the secret to mastering his emotions. The sage nodded thoughtfully and said, Your Majesty, the key lies in understanding the nature of your emotions. Just as a storm passes through the sky, so too shall your emotions ebb and flow. Do not resist them, but rather observe them with detachment. The king listened intently as the sage continued, Practice mindfulness in your daily life. When anger arises, take a moment to pause and breathe. Allow yourself to acknowledge the emotion without being consumed by it. In doing so, you will gain clarity and insight. With each passing day, the king diligently followed the sage's teachings. He practiced mindfulness in every aspect of his life, from ruling his kingdom to interacting with his subjects. As time went on, the king noticed a profound transformation within himself. No longer did his temper flare up at the slightest provocation. Instead, he faced each challenge with grace and composure, like a sturdy oak weathering the storm. The people of the kingdom marveled at the change in their ruler, inspired by his newfound wisdom and humility. And so, under the guidance of the sage, the king learned to control his emotions and ruled his kingdom with compassion and empathy. The Zen master concluded his tale, his voice soft yet resonant with wisdom. The young boy listened intently, his heart stirred by the profound lessons embedded within the story. Master, the boy whispered, his eyes brimming with gratitude. Thank you for sharing such a powerful tale. I understand now that true strength lies not in suppressing our emotions, but in embracing them with mindfulness and compassion. The Zen master smiled warmly at the boy and nodded. Remember, my dear child, the journey to emotional mastery is not an easy one. But with patience, practice, and a willingness to learn, you too can find peace within yourself. And with that, the young boy departed, his heart lighter and his spirit fortified by the timeless wisdom of the Zen master's teachings. And so, the cycle of learning and enlightenment continued, as it had for generations untold. This is God of Motive. Thanks for watching and stay focused.